Come up unto the Lord, thou and Aaron and Nadab and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship ye afar off. And Moses alone shall come near the Lord, but they shall not come nigh, neither shall the people go up with him. And Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord, and all the judgments, and all the people answered with one voice, and said, all the words which the Lord has said, we will do. So like the brother was just saying, that they, they, it was presented to them, God gave it to Moses. I mean, yeah, gave it to Moses. Moses went to the people. They said, on one accord, we will do. So the confirmation was confirmed. I'm going to show you how it was confirmed. Uh, verse 5, verse 7, verse 6. It says, uh, and Moses took, 24 and 6, and Moses took half of the blood. Okay, we'll go to 5. And he sent young men of the children of Israel, which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins, and half of the blood he sprinkled it on he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant and read it in, and read in the audience of the people, and they said, All that the Lord hath said we will do and be obedient. Verse 8. And Moses took the blood. Now, this blood, like we learned yesterday, was, is what, see, see, before they, before the Lord married Israel, the covenant was given, okay? They both agreed to the covenant, and then there was an act that confirmed it, that confirmed this marriage, praise the Lord. And here you see in verse 8, Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which the Lord had made with you concerning all these words. So that blood signified that covenant. So once they came into that covenant, they became married. Now, when you go on to the commandments, Exodus 20 and 2, uh, 20 and 5, Let's see the characteristics of men today when it comes to dealing with their wives. And let's see why. Because clearly, like the brother said yesterday, we made in the image, but right now we're in the likeness because our minds ain't set on Christ like it should be because we fail. But thou shalt not bow thou down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I the Lord thy God am a jealous God. Okay? And that's how men become when we get married to a woman. We get jealous. Mm -hmm. Why? Because our father was the same way. Mm -hmm. You understand? So when we when we broke those law, statutes, and commandments, when we made that covenant with him, mm -hmm. then you had number curses coming. Mm -hmm. You had number curses. But the thing about him, Christ was, and the father, is that they're going to come back to get us, and they're giving us a chance to be married all over again. That's why it's so important for you to come under that blood. All right, well, go ahead, bro. I just want to go ahead and finish. That. I just want to back you up on that, man. Okay. But um, just um, I just I, I I really sincerely would like people to start becoming curious. Very you know, That's right, man. Into what it is that um we speaking about right you know um, we are the children of Israel we are Israelites right you know it's pride in saying that you know that's right because man. the most high said we are special people that's right above all people above all people mm -hmm. that's special man especially considering you know what we knew before we came to we came into this understanding. Right. We didn't have right. no we lost cause. You know, felt like. I mean, everybody said everybody want to think we e everybody is equal. You right, know? right. We right. would. That's how people, you know, would like to think. Right. You know, they people want to be equal with those who encaptured us, our ancestors. Right. We want to be equal like them. Right. Not understanding that we above right, really. the other Gentile right. nations. Well, I mean, 
Yeah, well, he said I'll make you the head and not the tail, and we would obey it. So right now we have the tail. But spiritually, you know, we come back, man. Yeah. We're on top. And then, yeah. and then just to also, you know, because we don't want to exclude anybody. Um, the scripture also speaks of other nations, man. Um, Those other nations come will up, be included. Yeah, There's man. No I mean, you come up under the blood. You come under that say, blood, man. You and you, you, you follow the law, standing commandment. Man. Lord, say He gonna give you name better than His sons and daughters, and that's in Isaiah fifty six one through eight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you all are invited too. You know to come in and get this gospel, man, and follow the law, statutes, and commandments. But just understand it's a protocol. Okay, and understand the protocol. You got to come through. The children of Israel to get it. Okay? That's why in 1 Corinthians 14 and 4 it said, Let all things be done decent and in order. You know? Um, and Isaiah 56 1 and 8, he was clearly talking about the stranger. Matter of fact, he said, this, There's no reason why the stranger. Matter of fact, let's go see that. Let's go see what the Lord said about that stranger. Right quick. Isaiah 56 1, it's going to tell you about that stranger. He shouldn't say something about, uh, you know, I ain't his people. Fifty-six, one and fifty-six. Uh, six. Go ahead. Fifty-six and six. Go ahead and read that. Isaiah fifty-six and six. Go ahead. Also, the sons of the stranger mm -hmm. that join themselves to the Lord. Right. So the sons of the stranger that join themselves to the Lord. Go ahead. To serve Him. Uh huh. And to love the name of the Lord. Go ahead. To be servants, uh -huh. every one that keepeth the Sabbath from uh -huh. polluting it, go ahead, and take it hold of my covenant. Now, now what we gotta understand here is that when they say the sons of the stranger, in Amos three, three and two, it tells you of all families of the earth only you have I known. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities. So he's only talking about Israel. He only knew Israel. When you only, when you know somebody, they're not a stranger. So clearly in this scripture, scripture here, he's talking about someone he did not know. That's why they've been labeled as a stranger. So please, brothers, all right, let's, let's, let's keep this in context, all right? Because we got to understand, man, ain't nobody put us in this situation but our forefathers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When he said the meek and the humble shall inherit the earth, he said the meek and the humble. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta meet. Be, we have to be meek and humble about bringing this gospel, man. You know what I'm saying? We gotta. We gotta understand, man, that we gotta do this thing a certain way, man. We gotta make sure our, 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 our attitudes are in the right place about bringing this gospel because you gotta realize that the whole world is off course because the children of Israel are off course. If the children of Israel were on point, then the whole world would be on point. So how the whole world gonna get on point? And we get on point. That means we're going to come back to the gospel and we're going to teach the nations the gospel. Mm -hmm. All right? So when he said right here, the sons of the stranger, meaning this person I didn't know, this man I didn't know, don't know, if he take my laws, keep hold of my Sabbath, keep going. Mm. Cool, right, um, 56 and 6. Let me yeah. see. Mm -hmm. Middle of it, right? Keep hold of my cup. Even them, yeah, seven. Uh huh. Even them will I bring into bring to my holy mountain. So even them, meaning including them, also them. Go ahead. And make them joyful. Uh huh. In my house of prayer. Go ahead. Their burnt offerings. Uh huh. And their sacrifices. Uh huh. Shall be accepted upon mine altar. Right. So he gonna accept their burnt offerings and their sacrifices too. Go ahead, brother. For mine house uh -huh. shall be called an house of prayer for all people. For some people. All people. For the Israelites. All people. For the Jews. For all people. For all people. And that's what we got to understand, man. So we bringing this gospel, man. We got to make sure we bringing this gospel, man, and cover it. See, Christ did not come for the world. He came for Israel. Why did he come for Israel? So Israel can get on the job and do his will and bring the gospel. See, that don't make it don't make sense for me to come out here. You know what I'm saying? It don't make sense for me to go get five little boys in my neighborhood and tell them how to run my house when I got my son in my own house. I'ma go tell my son how to run my house. And if anybody come in, you tell them the rules 
or the laws and statutes of my household. Mm -hmm. They're not. It's not saying that they ain't welcome. They ain't welcome to come in. But you got to abide by the law, statutes, and commandments that I put in my house. Mm -hmm. That's all. It was, that's all it was about. That's all it was about. And that's what we got to understand, man, because if we ain't doing things in order, man, we will be cut off. You will be cut off. All right? You got to end on that, brother? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. I just wanted to uh, hit that point. Well, we basically um, hit on the point, I guess, we wanted to hit on um, for this lesson. Oh, you know it. And, um... We welcome everyone um, viewing this video to share and also uh, look into our other videos right, right. Uh, where we are teaching the Word of God. That's some good soda. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. See, they, people don't know that the Most High, you know, he drank wine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. His eyes were red. Call it a wine bibble, man. Yeah, a wine bibble. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he had to. Yeah, hey, call it a wine bibble. Hey, he had to drink wine, man, to deal with Israel. Man, you ain't looking at You know what I'm saying? Because, hey. What? Hey. Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see why we got some characters. Like wood, hey, bro. we got some characters in, our, in the nation, man. You know that's why the Most High said, "Hey, we'll procure you. That he, we procure you." <laughs> yeah, that, hey, I think he meant. I think he meant that in the bad. <laughs> like y'all retarded. <laughs> Y'all super crazy, he, man. He, hey, man, he know. Y'all all the change, yeah, man. Yeah. We all the change back then, man. We hey, man, we still ain't nothing same, change, man. Ain't nothing change, man. <laughs> Only thing yeah. change right now, man, is that we, we start to wake up, man. That's yeah. a blessing, man. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm excited about it, you know. But, uh... I'm good. I'm... I'm, 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 I'm y'all be sure don't catch the purple before swimming, either. What, what was that? No, nah, go ahead, man. What you saying? No, nah, I was... I was just saying, make sure y'all be sure don't catch a person before swine, man. Oh, yeah. yeah you know, yeah. this gospel is to be envied. Yeah. This, yeah. Gospel is, this gospel is great, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, if people don't want to hear it, walk away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just make sure you try to plant a seed and you move on. That's, that's basically how you got to do it because there's going to yeah. be people that, you know, they ain't, regardless right. of how, how much truth how, how, regardless of how logical the story is mm -hmm. coming from the scriptures, how true, you know, regardless of how, how logical it is, a lot of people just ain't, you know, they ain't gonna want him. Right. And, that, where is it, and that you just, just go got to, you just got to, hey, brush, brush them off. Right. You know? Right. Like, say two or three times, brush up feet, man. Yeah. But that, 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 that also go back to the Lord putting putting certain people to sleep, man, you know. He gonna wake up, we gonna wake up. Yeah. So hey, but that, there will be a time though when every the whole world will know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, be. oh yeah. And a matter of fact, he gonna deal. He gonna plead with all the nation, man. Yeah. He's gonna bring all the nation, man. All the nation, man, gonna come up for the feast. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be a glorious thing, man. Mm -hmm. And see, I think the thing so good about it is that, man, we gonna be at the top. When all these nations coming, man, they got to see us up there sitting like, yeah, right. boy, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's going to, I mean, hey, I don't mind y'all come to the feast. Hey, come on to the feast and hang out with us, man. But at the same time, man, we in rulership. And we going to take the kingdom forever, forever, and ever, man. I like that saying, though. What that saying is, uh, old boy, I'm saying, we got next. We got next. We got next, man. I can't wait, boy. Man, I, mean, man, I think about that a lot, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the closer and closer we get, man. Yeah. We gonna come into some rough times here, though. You know, hey. I mean, I think about it, you know. And I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm a man. I'm a man. You know, I, I I do get, you know, I do kind of fear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, that, not that, that I fear. Yeah. I don't yeah. fear no foreign troops, now. I fear the Lord, and I know yeah. I know the wrath that He finna send is finna be hell on earth, man. You know what I'm saying? So I fear that. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm scared of that, man. So I just want to make sure, but that. That, like the scripture tell you, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You know what I'm saying? So by me fearing the Lord, man, I just make sure I'm, I'm seeking Him constantly, man. I'm trying my best to walk this thing right. I don't want to fall at all, man. I'm scared, man, for real. And that's how we got to be, brother. We got to be scared, and I don't know what dealing with the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Boy, if y'all, if y'all were Christian churches knew what was coming, 